Okay, so here we have the OTC battery load tester and it's model number 3181. Now what this is going to do is just uh, apply a load to your battery to tell you whether it's good or not. Now, right in front, it's going to say test time 10 seconds with a maximum of 15 seconds. So you want to make sure you don't exceed those 15 seconds on holding this switch right here. And it's very easy to set up. Connect the red to the positive of your battery. Connect the black to the negative of your battery. And then you're good to go from there. Make sure your battery is completely charged and full when you do a load test on it because it will give you a false reading and it's just going to end up costing you a brand new battery. So what I have here is I have two batteries here. I have one that's in a car that the battery is low and you're going to see the type of reading we're going to get and this is exactly how you should not be testing a battery. And then we're going to have another example of a battery that's fully charged and we'll also test that one. All right, and I have the battery load tester connected to this battery. Now keep in mind, this is a battery that is uh, a bit drained. So have your positive and negative leads connected. And right there, you can see we're showing just a little bit under 12 volts. So if you were to use a DVOM or a multimeter on this battery and you see 12 volts, uh, some people would think that the battery is just fine. But let's go ahead and apply a load to it. And as you can see, the needle did fall into the replace section. Now this is where the tool is going to give you false readings and it might cost you a battery. If you... Um, if you don't know that your battery is drained and you do a test like this, you're going to get false readings. So just make sure your battery is completely charged before you do this type of test. So now let's move on to a battery that's completely charged and let's see what kind of readings we get out of that. Okay, so this car is a 2015. We're currently in 2016, so I'd expect this battery to be in pretty good shape. Okay, and just with having it connected, you can see we're just a little bit over 12 volts. So let's go ahead and put a load on it. Okay, and as you can see, it did not go anywhere near replace. In fact, it didn't even go into the, the weak section. It did get very close to it, however, but it did not. So obviously it's a good battery and this is the type of test that you want to do that the battery um, is charged and it is not a weak battery like the previous battery we just tested so that's the OTC load tester for you and you can see how easy it is to use um, it works great it hasn't let me down and it's a nice tool to keep handy so I think I'm gonna close the video here uh, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching